WTFNN. Headline news update. Here's Tom O'Brien. Hi, folks. Basil Chapman, the host of the Tiger Conditions Hour at noon. Coming in here for this 9 a.m. update. And the Dow is uh, closed yesterday, 25,657. The futures are up about 11. Dow futures and the S&P futures are up about 1. Very interesting uh, action yesterday. Strong gap up rally. And then it pulls back very sharply. But it closed the day quite nicely. So it created a candle that says, basically, um, within the next two days, if there is a push, it doesn't have to close. It just has to push above 25,796. And that'll be a positive short term. And if in the next two days it closes below 25,544, that'll be a negative. Also, if you're looking at this chart on the left here, my daily chart, the weekly charts in the middle, monthly on the right. If you're looking at the left side chart, you'll see this arch formation, smaller arch than the big one that went to the high of 26,241 on the 25th of February, comes down to 25,252. A push higher would delay the arch formation and just merely say sideways motion in a trading band, but a pullback by the end of the day or tomorrow says, nope, we're going to probably test this trend line that we, we hit yesterday exactly uh, and bounced off, but hit again around about 25,432. Just real quickly, uh, the S&P, as I say, is up a little bit. The QQQ, which is the index 100, is also up a little bit, made a high on the 21st. At 182.83, it's trading 179.24 right now. It needs to get back into the 181 area because if it closes under 178 in the next two days, that's a big negative. Let's look at gold. At this particular moment, gold is down one and a half at 13.19, struggling after that um, peak that was made three days ago. I call it a peak D in the Chapman wave. So watch it closely. A close under 13. 10 would say consolidation unfolding, just a consolidation and a push above 1330, 10 points higher says, hey, this is not giving up yet. Good action. The weekly chart says trading band for gold a little longer. The dollar had a little bit of a rally yesterday and today it is trading down three cents at 96.79. Uh, pretty good action also in a trading band. I'll be back to talk about it a little bit more in the coming up show. This is Larry Presavento's show that I'll be subbing for Trade What You See. Stay tuned. I'll be right back. <music> 